What's up, YouTubers? Joe here with BHA, back at you again for another fishing adventure. Uh, after Marty and John took me trout fishing and was successful, I uh, recruited them again to do a little catfishing today. So we're out at Yellowstone Lake, and one of the cool things we're gonna do is we're gonna try to catch some, tr uh, some catfish to show you guys that they're not the gross, dirty fish that everybody says, so we're gonna get some for the frying pan. I've never done it before, but John hooked me up with this setup. It's an egg sinker on about 12 inch liter with a circle hook. So, I mean, it's a matter of just casting out like 20 feet from shore and letting them sit. So we're gonna be setting up here shortly and hopefully we get on some. So we can keep how many? So 10 and okay. there's no minimum size, uh, 10 flathead or channel cats. But you said the, that the smaller ones are better eating. The smaller the ones are better eating. Let's say anything under 20 comes home into the fry and goes into the fry pan. Okay, okay. And we're using crawlers. We're using crawlers for two reasons. We're using crawlers because stink bait stinks. <laughs> and you can probably catch other stuff with the uh, with the crawlers, whereas if you use stink bait, you're only gonna catch you're only gonna catch catfish and there's no reason to pay more money for it and reduce your opportunities, you know. So I think we're gonna, we're hey gonna guys, do all I right. think I'm gonna stop here and fish off this pier. Do it. Sounds good. See ya. Holler if you get something. Oh will do. I don't know if this is the right way to do it. <laughs> this is how I'm doing it. We're all limited out. So when you cast it in, do you just let it set forever or like let it set for a few minutes and slowly uh, I usually let it sit, yeah, probably at least 10 minutes and then I always like to have a tight, have a tight line. Yeah, basically you take a little trainer about that big and just cut it in half and put it on there. <laughs> so with circle hooks, what you want to do is wait till the fish fully takes it because the hook will work its way around and set itself. Oh. And so as as you see it start to go down, I like to take a couple reels, make sure it's on, and then I don't set the hook. I kind of lift gently and start reeling it, and oh. it'll set itself that way. Okay. Whereas if you set it, sometimes you can pull it out of their mouth while they're still yeah. kind of still kind of pulling on it before it gets set. So the nice thing about them setting itself, they'll always kind of work it to the corner of their mouth and have a nice set on the And that's specific with those circle hooks. Circle hooks. Yep. Okay. Yep. Fish on? Maybe. Maybe. I definitely did. This better not be a false alarm, Marty. False alarm. Oh, it's a false alarm? Did you have a bite? I definitely had a bite. <sighs> did you set? Did you probably set, set the hook. Did you try to set the hook or did you reel it? I just started reeling slowly. Okay, then you should be good. Actually, I might have somebody on here. So it looks it like looks moving around. Yeah. Yeah, you got a little bite. You got a... What do you mean? You don't think you have to No, there's no resistance. He's like, oh, I might have something. Where's your net? That's oh oh yeah! Beautiful! Nice. My work is done. That's nice. how you do it, boy. Dang. Get that man a beer! There's an eater right there. That's oh. Hey, hey. I don't want to be the guy that loses the first catch. Well, you can be the one that gets thin. Yeah, exactly. Learn. Oh, nice! Oh, that's Sweet. perfect eating size right there. Yay! Yeah, absolutely perfect eating size. Perfect. Nice! Moses! Alright, yeah, be careful though. Show right. me those point, pointy things. So, so on the top, right, just it up. right along here, right yeah. on the back side. Oh, so these things, they're nothing. No. Oh, I always thought those were what stung Those me. are the barbel. Barbs? Barbels? I always call them whiskers. Whiskers? Oh, so those don't affect you. You need it. Right on the lip. See how it hooked in the corner? Then we can, uh... We're <laughs> sweet! No, oh, sorry. no, it's totally fine. <laughs> Alright, then we gotta get away. Where the fish at, Joe? The elusive catfish are still in the water. Soon, grasshopper, soon. Patience, virtue. All right. Are you, yeah, I'm sorry. That's... Anthony just missed the fish. Nah, I don't know what happened. The drag started peeling. I got nervous and scared. <laughs> You've brought shame upon our group. Uh, that was the first. I thought like these hooks just, you know, usually these catfish just hook themselves. They just like the line starts running. You just grab it. It was a minute. And premature. It was and all of a sudden Anthony got on it. And next thing you know.
Jesus, you got to crank the thing down. Nice. Squirrely. He's still on. God. Dude, it's going to, I think it's going to jump. What? I'm not, this isn't fighting like a catfish. Oh, it's something different. Yeah. I'm the big old, the big dog. That's the OG. Right? This is doing circle laps. Carp. No, that's a cat. It's a cat. It's a good cat. Get her in! Oh, Ooh, it's a good fryer. The... Oh, I'm going yeah. There you go. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, yeah! Oh, shoot. I'm in the basket already. You got it. Okay. Do you want me to pull it in? I didn't know yeah, if you wanted me to. No, we're good. Jump in. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's officially on the board. It is time. Oh my God. That's a nice one. We were here three. You putting a catfish in the cooler or beer? Beer. No, but we figured Anthony says he's got about 10 minutes of light to get these filleted, man. Oh boy. We want to get it, so pitter patter. So we're. Yeah. Yep. Clean and channel catfish here. And basically, what we're doing here is we, we want to get the skin off. So we're going to make a cut by the head, kind of going around here and then we're gonna make it on the reverse side nice sharp knife and we're gonna grab the skin and pull it back um, so it comes off and we have fillets that are uh, yeah that are skinless Pretty much a boneless wow. fillet. Nice. That's not bad. No. I mean, it's interesting. Like, there's. It's nice and tender. It doesn't it look should be. It should be really good. And it, the other thing about it is that it's a. These younger fish don't have that mud vein in the way that the bigger ones do. And and so where is that? Roughly? That mud vein, you would see it along here. Um. But it's just basically pure, beautiful flesh. And we'll get that flesh on ice, but. All right, another successful Joe Goes Fishing. Thanks again, Marty and John, for putting us on cats. And stellar job, Anthony, with the, the filming. And Anthony actually got to catch a fish this time. So hey, hey. You'll, he'll Everyone be highlighted, too. And you didn't call me Andrew. And I didn't call you Andrew. <laughs> and no bugs. And no and bugs. No, wow, this is, this has been a stellar what, trip. What yep. more do you want? All Good right. times, guys. Cheers, guys. Cheers. 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 Oh, yeah.